So a few months ago, I was scrolling through AliExpress, and if you're wondering what I was doing on the Chinese version of Amazon, I was looking for clothes, and I found some pretty neat jackets, don't judge me. But anyway, I stumbled upon these skateboard shoes. Now when you think skateboard shoes from China, I know you're probably thinking, oh, they copied the Dunks, or the Vans, or Converse, some other silhouette, but no. This was a legitimate, completely original skate shoe from a Chinese skate shop. Here's the box. Check it out. I got the Grim Reaper colorway, so this is definitely a Halloween themed shoe. It's in Chinese, so you probably can't understand that, but the great thing about these, they're only 80 bucks. So let's unbox these shoes and let me tell you why they caught my eye. All right, first of all, we've got some stickers in the bag. Wonder what this is, not completely sure, but we have a cloth over there. Some more stickers. This feels like it's uh, some sort of suede, very thick suede too. You can see the brand's logo right over there. And the wrapping has that same logo and font. Open these up. Ooh, this is a very s nice shoe. It's super sturdy, oh my God. Let's get out the second pair. It came with an extra bag of black laces. All right, here's the first look at the shoe. And as you can see, it doesn't copy any other skate shoe. It's its own silhouette, its own skate shoe. This is incredible. Everything's written in Chinese, it's very cool. So let's break down my first impressions of the shoe and why I decided to get these. Not only do these look cool, but these look like a legitimate, affordable options for some very good skate shoes. 80 bucks is super cheap for some good skate shoes. Even Vans are more expensive sometimes. And this is a super dope colorway. We have the Grim Reaper on the back over here. Some of the other colorways also have a graphic over there, but it's embroidered. Unfortunately, this is just like a normal screen print, not in embroidery, but that's fine. We have some perforations on the toe for breathability. Nice thick laces. And I don't know if you guys can see that because it's black on black, so it might be really hard to see, but this triple stitching all around the toe box for extra protection around these areas as well. The rest of the shoe around the back area is made with just standard double stitching. So you can tell that the triple stitching around this toe area is intentional. They have a little cross hatch here for your little ollie marks. They have the same thing over here in case you rub this area of your shoe. A decently padded tongue. It's got elastics over here. It keeps the tongue in place. This is a vulcanized shoe. You can see that they put the logo at the bottom of their shoe as well. And even though the sole isn't fancy, this is some very nice hard rubber. Super cool. And it has a pretty nice insole, at least it does look like online. Let's pull this bad boy out. Not as thick as Vans Ultra Kush. Definitely better than Nike SB with their um, stupid Zoom air. Now these are just my first impressions and what I see from the outside over here. Let's actually put these on and skate them. And I'll check back with you after a few weeks of skating. Alright guys, it's been a hot, hot, hot minute since we did that initial unboxing. So, I think it's about time we reviewed this wonderful shoe. First of all, let's talk durability. Now this shoe and this company definitely takes some inspiration from Vans, but I've been skating this for months and look, we haven't torn anything, we haven't made a hole at all. I did super glue the lace up here, but apart from that, this thing is holding on super duper strong. There are children everywhere, and there is sand being blown in the air everywhere. Um, how did this happen? No idea. This area is starting to smooth out. You can see on the inside of the shoe, that's what it started out with, like those little grippy things. But, nowhere near getting a hole. Also, the rubber that they use on this outsole is much firmer and tougher 
than a regular Vans shoe. This material also makes the tread super duper grippy, which is really nice for board feel and like locking in. Bad news is it does get a few rocks stuck in there here and there, but I would say that's more so when you initially get it out of the box. After you wear it in a little bit, it's really not that big of a deal. The suede on the upper here is also really, really thick. You can't really um, see it, but when you hold this and when you feel it, it just feels like a much thicker suede than what I'm used to seeing and skating. But it also comes with some free suede patches as well. Once a hole pops into the shoe, I'm gonna like seal it up right away like it's brand new and it's gonna skate for an extremely long amount of time. My legs are extremely sore by the way because I did a bunch of volleyball for fun yesterday and um, yeah, but my legs are warming up so it's getting a little bit better. Let's get some more skating in. I would say that the lace placement is pretty out of the way as well, so you won't really rip this. I haven't even started to fray this. The only reason I started to tear this lace up here is because I've been practicing heel flips with this, and it's been uh, kicking that area. Oh! The downside to having the suede so thick is the fact that this shoe will get your feet sweaty. The only breathability in this shoe are the little perforations right here. After putting your feet in there and skating it, there's not a lot of ventilation. Like, you will get really hot in this shoe. Although when I'm skating, I can't really tell until afterwards when I'm done and I'm like thinking to myself, oh my god, my feet need to friggin' breathe. Now, let's talk comfortability. This shoe, super duper comfortable. In my own opinion, of course. Apart from the breathability of this shoe, it's actually super comfortable when I slip my foot in and start skating it. It's got this padded collar over here, which helps support you very nice and cushiony. And then it's got the insole, which I think I may have talked about, I don't remember, but here's the insole. It's a very standard insole, but it's, you know, it's it's effective enough. Gets you some board fill, gets you a little bit of cushion. Uh, it's gotten a little flatter since we first unboxed it. Uh, one thing that I really didn't like about this insole is these two little bevels here. Now, if you look closely, you can see the sort of edge. Well, that edge was basically symmetrical on the other side. Um, my foot's kind of flattened it out now, but they used to be really high up. I don't know about other people's feet, but I'm pretty sure that most people's feet do not curve upwards on the outside of their foot as well. Makes sense to have it here because there's an arc in people's foot, but not really much sense here. And it kind of made it uncomfortable for the first few weeks until it molded to my feet and flattened this part out. Yeah, you can't really see that edge anymore. Also, I wanted to make another quick comment about how cool looking this shoe is. I got some comments on this shoe saying that it looked pretty similar to the Vans Half Cab, which, now that I think about it, is a little bit. I'll put a picture here so we can compare. What do you guys think? I also got some comments that it was pretty similar to Dunk's. Looks a little bit like the Dunk Mid in my opinion, which is a pretty underrated shoe. I want to skate a Dunk Mid one day. It's also got elastics over here to keep the tongue in place. Very secure. I never, ever, ever have problems with this tongue solid in there. It's super secure. The tongue will not move on you. Also, since this is a vulcanized shoe, you get great board feel. Moving on, how does it skate? I will tell you right now. Maybe it's just because I was skating dunks before I had this shoe, which by the way, had like really extreme crisp flick. This shoe skates a little bit meh. The side of the shoe when you're doing tricks doesn't really stick to the shoe very well. and the outsole does not flick extremely good. I definitely find that flipping the board via kick flip is easier than flipping the board via heel flip. 
I definitely put, have to put a lot more effort into my heel flips with this shoe, um, even though the padded collar does help a little bit. This is also my very first mid-top shoe, so it's very interesting. Convenience-wise, I'm so glad to be skating this shoe because I don't have to sit there every single session trying to relace the shoe every single time because the high tops don't feel right. These shoes, I can just slip on, slip off. We're good to go. So, overview, comfortability, great. Breathability, not great. Grippiness, extremely great. Flick, eh. I also wanted to note that sizing-wise, this fits my foot really, really well, but I would consider myself to have a decently wide foot, and this shoe is actually a lot wider than it looks on camera. So if you don't have a wide foot, I would suggest getting a size down or half a size down maybe. Now, is this shoe worth it or not? If you're looking for a cheap skate shoe that looks extremely good and skates pretty well, I would say 100% yes. Old subscribers might know that I used to get free shoes from Vans. Am I kind of betraying them right now? A little bit. Let me know if you want to know the story down below in the comments, what happened to my relationship with Vans. Anyways guys, if you liked this video, please make sure to show some love by subscribing. Seriously, I want to get more people subscribed to this channel to help it grow, especially since I've been lacking recently. My fault. But yeah, subscribe, like, comment down below what you want me to do next time. Peace out, guys. Have a great weekend. Woo!